What's going on? Any luck? Alright, that's better than nothing. Yeah. Alright guys, I am down here at the river today. And we're going to be doing some snakehead fishing. Gotta love the, uh, the snakehead. So, I actually saw, actually saw one back as I was walking in. Um, I was gonna use some live bluegill, but the water's looking a little high and a little murky. And uh, I don't have any bluegill bait. So we're just gonna start out with some lures here. Five out hook. And we're just gonna tie a little kai tech on it here. That might get the job done. They like the Kytex. All right. Let's go up and, uh... Oh my damn it! You guys saw that one. <laughs> well, he crushed the chatterbait. Um, I'll tell you what I did wrong there. I've been just missing snakehead left and right. Earlier in the uh, day, I guess, I was fiddling with the, uh, the, the drag, and I guess I forgot to, to put it back up, so he just kind of took off there. <sighs> that sucks. He crushed the chatterbait, man. It wasn't a big one, but still a fish. Crushed it. Wow. Just had another one attack my bait right there, but he didn't get hooked. He didn't he didn't fully bite it. What are you doing, bro? That was weird. I've never seen a snakehead do that before. You see how quickly I can just stumble upon one. I don't know if that was the fish I had earlier. It looked about the same size, maybe a little bit bigger. But um, he saw it, he came up and bit at it, um, but didn't really bite it fully. He kind of just swiped at it. I had a live bluegill right here. Oh my gosh, he took it right in front of me. There's another one I lost on the... How hard is that? Racing right now. I don't know if you guys saw that, this is my third... bite of the day. On the chatterbait. Another... Another little guy. We. We've got to do something about this chatterbait here because they keep biting it, but they're not getting hooked. I'm thinking about making it a little smaller in terms of the uh, trailer. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to rip a portion of that off. I might have made it a little too small now. Okay, there we go. So now, it 
It's a lot smaller. Hopefully it still works good. Alright guys. We've got some uh, snakehead candy here. Perfectly sized bluegill. The only problem is we're not seeing many snakehead at all. Except for the one I just saw. Oh yeah, he took it. I've got one, Jace. Yep. There we go, guys. Oh, what a jump! What a jump! I've I've never seen a snakehead do that. Oh my gosh, this guy's feisty. Holy crap. That is awesome footage. Awesome footage. Oh, he jumped right out of the water. What a fight. It's a little guy. There we go. The bluegill always gets it done. Ah! <laughs> that was awesome. That was the coolest Yo, snake. I saw it fly. He jumped right out of the water. I got that all on camera, too. Yo, I looked over and something just flew across. Now that is a snakehead we, fight. You want to wait? Yeah, I'll weigh him for fun. Let me show you guys this hook set real quick, too. Look at that, right in the top of the mouth. This snakehead. Got a big, big something in the side. Something tried to eat it. And uh, its head's got a little stab wound. But this guy's got crazy, crazy teeth on him. Get a weight with Jace's new scale. 440. Really? Yeah. Shit, I can't use this in the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Uh, can you give me a picture? Yeah. yeah. A little snakehead. Look at those teeth, man. It's got big teeth. Get this for the thumbnail right here. And we can finally release these bad boys, cause the no fishing unless you're going for food is over and the tournament's over so I can release this snakehead. <laughs> there he goes. Awesome. Damn. Let's go Jace. Let's go baby. No, I need to catch one. Now it's your turn. Wow guys, what a fight there. That was easily the coolest and one of the more harder fighting snake I've ever caught. Just a little four pounder there. <laughs> he was crazy. He jumped fully out of the water twice. Um, absolutely incredible. Um, as you see, we uh, we were using chatterbaits all day and um, we were having some trouble getting him to bite. So what we decided to do was to throw on the live bluegill, which never ever fails. Um, I caught a perfect size bluegill, nice and small. And I was just walking around the bank um, and I saw this snake had dart out from the bank well i thought maybe let's throw the bluegill in get him to come back and sure enough he did he crushed the bluegill and uh wow absolutely awesome Whew. feels good to finally uh get some snakehead videos out for you guys so we're gonna stay here we're gonna try to catch some more on live bluegill stay tuned well i hope you guys enjoyed that video um nice little snakehead video we've got another snakehead video coming hopefully sunday i'm gonna try to get it out um but make sure to continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, our new videos are every Sunday and every Friday. So continue to be on the lookout for those. We're growing great right now. Um, looking forward to hitting 2.5K very, very soon. And uh, I'll see you guys next time on Bass Boys Fishing. Bye, guys.